be participating in our lives in, in a variety of ways. We're seeing the self-driving cars as an example, medical robotics, being able to deliver surgical level care at a fraction of the cost. Some say it's going to be great for your people to do other things. Here's um, Bill Gates, no less. If you can take the labor that used to do the thing on Mason replaces, and both financially and the license and film with wise, you can have that person go off and do these other things, you're net ahead. Here's Gates. Ahead, here come the robots. You can join us. But then AI, artificial intelligence, seems to be awfully important here too. 38% of U.S. jobs, robots will take within 15 years. And with the same efficacy to more people, we're going to see robots in agriculture, uh, robots, of course, in search and rescue and supporting our defense. And we hear about robots in the factory already, you know, robots, you know, you know paint cars, well cars. But we're going to see other uses of robots. It's not a 3D printer only. They can also cut with it. They can mold with it. You can finish with it. It's a, it's a robotic arm. And like any human arm, what the tool you put in it uh, can expand its functionality. Actually, the robot is more like a remote control mechanism that the surgeon drives. But the truth is, there are algorithms, there is autonomy under the hood that allow the physician to express higher level commands in automation as well. But then AI, artificial intelligence, seems to be awfully important here too. AI. This is around the corner. And not just in construction, but we're seeing this in a ton of industries. At the moment, we still need people to do the finishing and other stuff, but at least for the construction itself, it's certainly conceivable that we won't need people to do that anymore in the future. It's, it's creating a lot of fear among workers, who, kitchen workers, uh, any, uh, gardeners, uh, drivers, we're, we're saying that they're about to be replaced. Uh, we want to make sure that we can ensure the robot will do what we say it's going to do. And, and the challenges just go on and on. The way to prepare for it is to change the way that we educate ourselves and we educate our children. And also to start to refine our, our, our unique skills and things that humans really do well. But then AI, artificial intelligence, seems to be awfully important here too. And that is things like tuition. Intuition, sorry. So we're going to trust you here. We're going to panic. The idea is not not to panic. Being able to 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 the people skills, being able to understand and work with people. These are these are skills that we want to refine, and we'll, we should do it through education and also through experience and cultivate this from an early age. And as we all know, that's a really slow process. That's why it takes you know 15 years to prepare someone to enter the workforce, and it takes schools a long time to change their behavior. You're used to doing things in certain ways, and so to really prepare the next generation of workers, um, the people that I talk to say, both in, in economics and also in, in technology and in Silicon Valley, is to focus on learning how to learn. That's more important than focusing on you know what skill, how are you going to find the job the robot can't do, because in 16 years, robots should be able to do that job. Like you said, the progress is very steady. It might not be happening overnight, but it's steady. So a more valuable way to prepare is to learn how to learn, meaning when you're starting, when you're 50, your career can entirely change. So the skills that you know how to do are not as important as the flexibility um, and the sort of drive to be able to teach yourself something new, maybe switch jobs. And that's the story of you know, the modern economy. As machines have started to do things, we humans have learned better. You're the robot business, so we're going to trust you. We're going to panic. And we will ask that we'll talk to the machines and, you know, that's the way it's worked and that's the way a lot of people hope it will work this time. I think the best case scenario here that perhaps machines are getting so sophisticated and there are some, you know, signs showing up in the numbers that could be happening. We should have been stagnant for a long time. The share of working age adults who are working has never been lower. It is a prison to only jobs for a few. Are you next in the